Are you looking to get a logo made for your business, but you don't know where to begin? Well, in the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your very own professional logo, like the ones you're seeing now, completely for free. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. So step number one is to click on the link in the description, or you guys can go to logomaker.com, but without the E. From here, you have two different options. You can either click on start new design and be taken to a blank workspace where you can create a logo from scratch, or you can go to the top navigation bar and click on templates and choose from one of the many beautiful logo templates that they have available. Now I'm gonna create my own design from scratch. Let me show you guys around the workspace. In the top left hand corner, you have the search bar where you can search from over 3 million different graphics. So there's a lot to choose from. I can click on one of these categories if that's what I'm looking for. I can also just search for what I want like this. I'm going to click on the back to canvas button in the top right corner. Now on the left hand side, we have basic functions like text, basic shapes, and the paint bucket, as well as the undo button. On the right hand side, we have the saturation square and the color wheel. You can also enter in your hex code right here. Below that, we have the opacity and the layers tab so that you guys can decide which part of your logo is on top of the other. Now I'm going to click and hold and drag over everything to select all of the elements and delete them all at the same time. All right, friends. So now that you guys know your way around, let's go ahead and move on to step number two, which is to create your own logo. I'm going to start by collecting all of the elements first. I'm going to search through the shapes category and select this one right here. Perfect. Now that I have my icon, I'm going to add the text elements as well. I'm going to add the first one and type digital marketing, but then I'm going to press enter to have text on two different lines. Then I'll click on the styles tab and change the alignment to the left. And then I'm going to add a second subtitle, which is going to say market your services. Perfect. Now that I have everything ready to go, I can drag everything into position by clicking on it and dragging it into place. First, I'm going to drag the title and subtitle into place and resize them as necessary. By dragging from the corner of the box, I can actually resize any element I want. I can also rotate anything by clicking here. I'm also going to play around with the letter spacing to spread out the subtitle. I like this font, but if you guys want to choose a different font, you can click on the font type first, and then you can select your font second like this. Next, I'm going to drag a cube into place and make it big enough to span the entire title. Now that I'm done dragging everything into place and the logo is structured, I'm going to highlight everything and change all of the elements to be different colors. I want the cube to be orange, the title to be black, and the subtitle to be gray. All right, friends, step number three is to save your logo. Now that I've completed my logo, I'm ready to download it for free. To do this, I'm going to click on the save icon in the top right corner of Logo Maker. Now, this is important. If you guys click on the blue button that says download my files right here, you'll be asked to pay for the high resolution file. I do generally recommend paying for the one design in a high resolution file if you guys plan on using it for your professional business. This will give you the highest quality for your new logo in any scenario that you may be using it for. In this case, however, I'm going to show you guys how you can download your logo completely for free without having to pay for it. So let's go back. And instead of clicking on the blue button, I'm going to go skip over that high resolution license file and click here on the button that says download low resolution PNG file. This is perfect for testing out the logo and making sure it's going to work on your website. Next, I'm going to acknowledge and accept the legal terms with downloading a free file, and then I'm going to click download the free low resolution file. After you've downloaded your logo, be sure to scroll down and save your design URL by clicking here. It's now copied to my clipboard for future use. If you ever want to come back and edit your logo or pay for the higher resolution file, just enter this URL into your search bar like this. Congratulations, friends. You have just created your professional logo completely for free. I'm very happy with this one that I made. Now you guys are ready to throw it onto a website and show the world what you've done. If you don't have a website built yet, what are you guys waiting for? Check out the video that's right here where I walk you through the entire process step by step on how to get your website complete and online in just one hour. I'll see you guys there.